going on guys? Matt back in, aka El Chapo Guapo from thelownyc.com. Here's aka Beast Mode 718 coming at you from thelownyc.com, the Guap Drop and the Guap Drop Sneaker Consulting. So, we're going to be discussing with the recent releases of all these general releases that we've had, these Jordans, I think we're starting to see a trend of general releases not being profitable no longer. At least, at least in my opinion, with certain general releases, and um, I have a few shoes with me over here that I'm going to discuss. And all of, all of these were general releases, but because of the model that they were and the colorway and everything, some of them did really good and the other ones took a little longer and some of them just completely flopped. And it's just, I don't know really where we are right now. Well, we just did that video before of the uh, Air Jordan 5 Bel Airs about how there was so much hype built around them and they completely, completely flopped. And they're sitting at, I think, five to $10 of retail still. We're still trying to, we're still scratching our heads trying to figure out what the hell happened. I think what it's happened? gonna be, I think it's, it's gonna show like, as a sneaker investor, like you need to start kind of showing some restraint and also learning from your past, uh -huh. knowing what shoes are gonna go up and not, take as many chances like I, yeah. I can't believe what happened with these Jordan 5s and, and I was talking to my cousin and I'm like are, are people just not feeling the shoes and I don't think it's that's the issue at all I don't think it is I haven't heard one person that's into Jordans say that these are uh, ugly shoe. like yeah they're a perfect summer shoe you got the vibrant colors you bring that fresh prints back you know you got this the retro uh feel to it in yeah, the 90s sure. and, it, and it's like if these things flop then we need to realize it's good that I guess it happened with the hype shoe now. So we yeah. can be like, all right, instead of like, all right, well, this didn't happen. This didn't happen. This shouldn't have flopped. And not saying that it's not going to go up in the future. I think it's going to go up in the future. Yeah. But, you know, it's got to, it's got to, you know, stay the course. It's got to go ahead. People got to un-DS their pairs. Play the same fucking game. Yeah, them. we all but, play the same game. But for quick flips, like now I need to take a step back and I know I will that mm -hmm. these new releases that are coming out, it's like... Playing chess. You know, yeah. You, you, it's playing, you're, you're playing chess and you have to figure out like, so the shoes that I have all, like I said, I have shoes over here. So all three shoes we have over here are general releases. This is Air Jordan 1 and this is a pair of Royal Toes. Now again, these Royal Toes were a general release, but you know, everybody loves ones. They're classics. They're the first shoe that he came out with. And this is a hard colorway. So it's like, how do you not like these? Because, but this is where I, I, I'm, I wanna make sure I move more forward. Like, I think it's gonna come down to me think, investing more money in ones. Yeah, and saying for sure. And retros. For um, sure. And that means if I gotta pay resale on some, if I can't get my hands on it, like, this is, I know you're busting out the one, so I'm gonna stay on the one's topic. This is where I think I'm gonna be transitioning from money I would be willing to put into, let's say, a, a Jordan 3 or a Jordan 5. I'm gonna go ahead, hold off, and once that one comes out, I'll pay that fucking resale value and go ahead and invest some more. Well, yeah. well we had this discussion too. We, we talked about this off camera about how we were thinking that maybe the idea is with these recent Jordans, and we're gonna get into this one right now. So this is another pair of Jordans that came out. This is a pair of Air Jordan 4s, and I actually got this below retail. I did a local meetup. This is kind of a similar type of release. Th these right here were kind of, now I haven't thought about it since then. These and the fives that just came out, they were like, all right, two, two like I thought they were gonna hit hard. Yeah. I thought they were gonna go hard and they both. And they're completely like, again, these are, if you, if you haven't seen the what the fours, Super dope. they're completely different. Both Nike Air on the back. This is a smaller size. These are size eight. But the thing about these was, so before we had all Coco V and whatnot going on, these were sitting, literally sitting inside all of the malls by me and everything. And now it's crazy because you go online and you try to finally compare these. Like I think this size eight is going for almost close to 300. And you know, I, I realized these things I think came out December 19th. I think they came out December 19th of last year. And it's like, now you see these and now they're going for like 300 bucks. Before they were sitting on shelves, you know, I don't, I don't really know what's the deal with, and these were again, this is another general release. This wasn't a limited release. These were, you could bet them anywhere. And 
They that's flopped and shoe. no, it is absolutely, it's absolutely, shoe. it's totally and dope. That's the shit that's scary. You have yeah. dope shoes flopping, like not just hype beast. This is a dope. That's a dope shoe. You got yeah, little tight fours. You got the cements. You got everything put in there. The fire edge, fire edge, all in there. And then it's just like that shit flopped. That shit and it's flopped. A four? And it's a four. You know, and maybe that was like our first peek into maybe you know, but this, you know, Coco V wasn't going on back then. But Coco V wasn't going on back then. But what happened was. Once all these stores got shut, but I remember still seeing them back in February. They were yeah, still know, sitting yeah. in the mall in February. Yeah, know, yeah. And then the thing is, once and then once Coco V happened, stores got shut down. And then I don't really know what happened to these shoes. I don't know if they were still left in the stores, if people got them on sale, if the places were just like, listen, we've had them here too long, ship them out somewhere else. They went to the outlets or whatnot. I don't know, but. Now I think these, these things, like I said, this at least this size is. This size is at least touching close to 300. The other sizes I'm really not too familiar with. I think they're maybe around that 275 range, 260, 280, somewhere around there. But another shoe that was like really, really dope and completely flopped, didn't even sell out. Now, the thing is with the Bel Airs, the Bel Air 5s, I can say personally from where I was just at the mall, all of those 5s in adult sizes sold out. They're all gone, they're sold out. Grade school sizes were still there. These were still sitting on shelves in grade school sizes, yeah. men's sizes, wow. PS sizes, all of them. So that was kind of scary to see these. Um, you know, it's glad I'm happy they're going up now. I only have one pair, but. I mean, and you figure that was seven months time. So that was a good amount of time. Yeah. I mean, so where do you think the fives, the Bel Airs are going to be come seven months down the road will be after the holidays. But where do you think they're going to be in the holidays, your prediction right now? My prediction right now? I think I have in my head where I think they're gonna be. I think I know where they're gonna be, and I'm gonna say probably around the 250 to 260 range. I was gonna say 270. I think they're gonna be 270, and just because there was way too much in circulation, and supply and demand, there's way too, some, too much supply, and there's so many shoes that came out this summer um, yeah. that it's like, maybe people were just like, I'm gonna take a week off. Maybe the pockets are starting to get affected a little bit. Well, that's what I was saying, and I, I think I mentioned I think I mentioned that off camera that we're gonna be we're gonna start seeing because of all Coco V and how it is starting to get worse, and people are starting to go, you know, people aren't starting to have jobs anymore, um, and I think people are really really starting to just try to squeeze every little dollar they can out of these shoes. So people are starting to people will buy a hundred of. They'll buy, say for instance, a hundred of these. They'll buy a hundred of these fours. We'll say for instance, these are the Bel Airs. They'll buy a hundred Bel Airs and they'll sell them for maybe 10 to $15 profit. And now the thing is too, now when you're doing that hundred, you can't think of like, oh, it's one pair, it's $15. Yeah, one pair, 10 to $15. But if you're doing the mo massive volume, sure, sure. if you're doing 50, 60, a hundred pairs, Talking fifteen, you know, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. And, and, and if, if you're, you're doing that, website, you just go to yeah, I'm a shop and just say, here you go, you're clean. Bro. You, you could, you could, check. you could do that. You yeah. could do that too. But even, it. even if you want, you could sell it to local people for ten to fifteen dollars yeah, over if you market. Want to scratch and, you know, yeah. whatever. Most people that are buying bulk like that are just kind of getting it in and getting it out. Yeah, of course. There's another shoe that I had that I think this is another shoe that came out. It came out in I think it was in December. It came out last year. It totally flopped, and they're sitting in outlets. And this shoe I just picked up at the outlet. I picked it up at the clearance store when I was in Pennsylvania. And it's the Air Jordan 3 Animal Pack. It's the first one, the 1.0s. I know we have the 2.0s that came out, but uh, I personally think these are cool as shit. I think they're cool, it's all real fur. You would wear that? Probably not, yeah. I just think they're cool. Yeah. I just think they're cool. It's just, again, it's another shoe like this. It's like, now we have Jordan brand using like, this is all real fur too. Right, right. This is all real fur. It even says it, like I think not in this one, but it says in the other one. And it's like, there we go. It says in this one right here. So you guys probably can't see, but you see a little white label in there. It says it, it says that um, this shoe contains real fur, dyed adult, bovin fur, uh, and the fur is from Brazil. But it's like something like this, this flopped. And you know, I could kind of see why it's a little loud and exotic for people exotic do you think things like this should be should be flopping or like i said supply and demand this looks like i would never wear anything like that if you're catering to people that are normally wearing jordans like normal wearers of jordans i could definitely see why people are not feeling these you know what i mean yeah like, if, if you're gonna bring this to somebody who's really like wearing jordans then 
I could definitely see why it's not. Yeah. Uh, Again, do you think, now say for instance, this is a shoe I released a year ago. It's still below retail. Do you think this shoe is gonna go up over time? Uh, yeah. Mind you, I paid. Mind you, I paid 120. Right, right, right. Yeah, I know you wouldn't have paid uh, fucking retail for that shit. Retail for this thing was 225. So anybody that paid 225 for these, um, maybe the most. Sorry. Maybe that's the most they'll ever hit is like 280. That's not that hot, hard of a shoe to me. Uh, yeah. That's a very specific person. person that's wearing that shit. Yeah. But. But I don't know. What what do you guys think of what's going on with the market? I know a lot of the guys on here are resellers. Like, where do we go now from here? I think, like I said, in our opinion, I think we're on the same page. Um, we're going to be definitely pushing more for the ones and more for the hype releases, the 350 sure. eases, the, the eases, the, the dunks, more, the dunks, the safe route, because this opened up our eyes to like, yeah. fuck, like yeah. what's happening? What's happening? And for if sure. these flopped, and, and it was the year of the fives, bro. You had so many fives coming out and there was other fives that did well. And like, this is the one that didn't do well. Like. I yeah. wouldn't have imagined that, but let us know what know. you guys think in the comments For sure. below. We're curious to see where are you guys moving from here? Uh, are you guys even think, do you think it's just a shoe issue or do you guys yeah. think this is going to be something for the future? Love to hear your comments below. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification. You got anything else? Hopefully, you know, we learned our lesson mm -hmm. and now we move forward from here. Sure. And um, move forward yeah, from here and then we just on to the next one. Before I go, I want to let you guys know, we launched uh, the lowmyc.com. We are now giving our subscribers 10% off on every order. Doesn't matter how much you end up purchasing, how many items you have. You put the discount co code in, you get 10% off your entire order. And that discount code is YouTube. So go ahead, just plug that in. We got you guys. Appreciate you guys stopping in and staying with us. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.